Good morning, everyone. Plum here, playing um, Gmail. <laughs> Welcome to Gmail. Uh, this is my inbox, and I'm just going to pick a game and watch it and talk about it. <laughs> so um, I think I know which one I'm going to pick. I think I thought this might be a nice way of doing it, showing you, and then you can see whether you've sent me an email and whether it's here recently. Obviously, I do open them all and look at them all. Uh, I don't open them from Pixbay, that's something completely else. Um, but when you send me it, this is where it comes and this is what it looks like. So I'm sure you've all seen the email before. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century. Um, yeah, this one caught my eye from Valkov Marin. It says, uh, hello, this is a beautiful game that I had in my Pershing today. Not just that, <laughs> this is a beautiful game that I had today. It just catches my eye and my imagination a little bit and I think, hmm, a beautiful game. Let's click on it and he has written some stuff here. What else I'd like to see is when it's being sent. <laughs> oh, there's Steve. Did he just send that message? Oh, we did. <laughs> He's just unlocked the bat chat. <laughs> we, had, we played some games last night, Steve and I, and uh, <laughs> we had some really good ones. And you'll probably see a replay of at least one of those games we had last night. Um, anyway, back to Valkov. And uh, he says, hello. This is a beautiful game I had in my Persian today. Quite pleased with that. A quick description of the game. I went to the usual spot where I go with my mediums on that map. Did some damage, but nothing spectacular. At one point, I was sure we were going to lose. But I thought, screw this. I need to put the carry pants on and do something. I did not go for the Pershing at the same time with HE IS3 because the Dickamax would have showed me that surprise butt sex is the best butt sex. After I killed him, I went and finished the job on the Pershing, then rushed to help the KV-5. Where I took the enemies out with a little style, the WZ111, then dodged an arty shell like a boss, killed it and asked if my teammates can leave the last kill for me to get a medal, and I see nothing wrong with that. I think he gets Radley Walters. I consider this a carry only because without me I'm pretty sure we would have lost. I have a two skilled crew and the equivalent equipment I use is Ram Events Vertical Stabilizer. Screw that view range, I need the rate of fire. Here is the link to the replay. Let's click on the link. So uh, that does look like a good game in the M26 Persian. I think that's still my second, first, second or third best tank in my garage according to my personal ratings with it. Um, so I love that machine. And yeah, that's the results screen. Let's take a look at his team scores. And that is, that's a good carry. I mean, they're, 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 these couple of guys did quite well up in the 800s. Uh, but yeah, most definitely eight kills. You're doing something right. <laughs> Nearly 4,000 damage. It's a total wipeout for the enemy team. And there's your Radley Walters medal. Okay, download replay. Open. Now we'll see how quickly my game can launch. Quickly game, quickly. I do have an SSD that uh, one of the tanks is installed on, so it should go pretty quickly. While that's loading, excuse me while I just slip a bit of tea. Lubricate the old vocal cords. They sound a bit rough to me this morning, I don't know why. Um, right, let's make that mini map a bit larger. There we go. And we're counting down, so let's take a quick look at his XVM, and he's a very good player indeed. 3,000 games played, a good rating, and good uh, win rate, very good win rate. Tier 8 game, like he says. And according to XVM, 38% chance of uh, pulling this one off, so let's see how this all plays out. We all know how it all plays out. You've seen the email. Do you like this approach? I thought, what can I do today that's just a little bit different to what I normally do or other videos that I do? And I thought, I'll just show you the inbox. So now if you want to send me replays, be fully prepared to suddenly see the actual email appear at the beginning of the video. And then I can show people why I'm choosing to show it. I think that's a nice little thing to do. Looking at our teammates, not sure why. We were, made that minimap a tiny bit smaller. So we are heading over towards the northeast. There's that WZ111, I assume we'll see him later, according to the email. You know it, I know it. We're going to get a cheeky shot. Destined to bounce that shot. And we're going to pull back another go. I mean, it's a pretty good spot here. He's got this mound of earth in front of him, which is covering a lot of his tank up, particularly his hull. Maybe his uh, rather ample back end does stick out a little bit. He's leaving that anyway. So we're going to go after the, uh, the AMX CDC. According to the minimap where he is, that's that's not a good spot because he can be shot at. You watch the 12T, we'll shoot him now. Ouch. 
There he is. We get a nice tasty 200 damage into him. I assume we're using the 90mm gun. Yeah. We've got 37 at the moment. 37 rounds of regular armor piercing. 25 APCR. I don't think I carry that many on mine. Ooh, that one just drifts over the Type 64. Looking at the mini map, I'm trying to just see how this match is, you know, unfolding, and it's... I mean, we've got a pretty decent line of defence all across this map at the moment. We're not going to get flanked anytime soon. So it's all just kind of in-your-face kind of shooting. Ooh, that's a nice shot into the Rhymer tile. That's always good. So we're going to kill eight of these enemy tanks. Not one's been killed yet. I think this match is going to really get going in the second half. Another Pershing. I found him quite bouncy on the front of Pershing. Oh, that was unlucky. I can see what he's trying to do then. And it didn't quite work. The uh, Our Panther tank is in trouble. He's got a couple of tanks on him. I don't think we want to push over that ridge, do we, Bad Captain? Because there's those tanks over there and they're waiting to shoot at you. We've taken a couple of bounces from the Pershing. Ouch, ouch. Now we've finally taken some damage. What hit us? The Dickamax. And the Pershing. Back to back hits, that's not good. That's going to worry you, isn't it, when you're playing the game? You're going to think, uh, I don't want to keep doing this because they keep hitting me and I keep getting damage. Okay, there's the Dickamax. Trying to remember what he said now in the email. <laughs> what did he say about the Dickamax? <laughs> that's right, he's referencing saying he didn't want to go down there, I think, because you would think the Dickamax would shoot him in the butt. So, a uh, nice little bit of revenge on the Dickamax. T34, 3 down there. It feels a bit bad because they're lucky they've got the uh, Dickamax and the Pershing up here because it is preventing ourselves. And we just lost a AMX CDC behind us. We're almost holding this hilltop now on our own. And we've got a T-34-3 coming around to have a go at us. That's unfortunate. Right now it's hard to imagine that he's going to get 8 kills, isn't it? I mean, right now... He's going to kill the majority of this enemy team now. They've only got 13 tanks left, and he's going to kill 8 of them. And he's only got 511 hit points left. <laughs> We've only got half our tanks left. The enemy team is probably thinking, it's a win. This is definitely a win. Holy cow. Now, this is a pretty decent tank, the Pershing, I find. It does everything well. It doesn't do anything badly, it just does everything well. And he's done a good thing here, he's tracked the guy there. Managed to get his second shot in. Finally, we're off and running now with the kills. That's going to make a big difference to his morale, I would I would guess. His sense of, you know, I can do this. We can do, we can do some good in this game, let's pull this out. It's kind of what... These situations happen, don't they, when you're playing an epic game, is that you do start losing... And the enemy team then gets all confident. And if you're in the right spot with the right tank, with the right kind of gun that can just keep firing very regularly and doing damage, you're suddenly shooting at targets that are only half uh, half their hit points left. Although none of those appear to. I'm just sort of speaking hypothetically. Oh, that's a tough, tough target to shoot out the Ferdinand. We've got to watch our backside as well. I think the Pershing's going to come over the hilltop, isn't he, and shoot us in the rear. Somehow the team has managed to level the scores. So how many tanks have they got left? They got eight tanks left. So we're going to kill seven of those eight tanks left. With our Pershing that's only got 511 points of damage, uh, hit points. Wow, this match is suddenly about to get going, I think. And we've lost another tank. <laughs> uh, whew, <laughs> you see, the front of the Pershing is quite bouncy. It has enough armour when it's top tier to do that. And it was well angled then. Oh, he's going to have to be worrying. I'm, gl I'm glad he's got an IS-3 next to him. Here's our IS-3. Come on, just one of us kill the Dickamax. He is preventing us from using the other side of this ridge to our benefit. And there's a full health Pershing over there. Uh, I think our charioteer looks like it's probably doomed in the south. IS-3 gets impatient, decides he's just going to push up. That might give the Dickamax a reason to come out and shoot. This could work. He's probably thinking, oh, I can go and shoot him, I can shoot him. Come on, come on. <sighs> Didn't quite get the kill shot. He's left on 61. There's another kill. they got six tanks left. He's going to kill everything now. 
Isn't that nice to know for a change? <laughs> that he's going to kill everything on this team. That seems remarkable that he's going to kill everything. <laughs> there we go. So these our friendly tanks that are left, they're going to start whittling down the enemy. And maybe they're going to leave them all on just uh, you know one shots for him. I don't know exactly. But suddenly we can turn this thing around. <laughs> what a good game of World of Tanks. Thank you for sending it in, bad captain. I know you sent it to all the others as well on the email. You CC'd it to Mighty Jingles, you sent it to Oak, Pointy Head, Jedi, and um, Screen Reality or something. Someone else that does it. Um, and me! Hopefully I'm the only one that's going to do it. <laughs> do it my way. The plum way. So we're in a really good spot here, we can get in behind these tanks and as long as they've got nothing on the ridge, I mean Artie's over there somewhere at the base, you can see his little uh, pale pink dot on the minimap just between numbers 1 and 2, he's sat there be careful of that, because we are basically probably a one shot for artillery Our KV-5 is going to go and get a bit of damage and hopefully whittle these down to their one shots if he can hit the WZ111 next the KV-5 that will leave him as a one shot tentative on the uh, Ferdinand oh there's a, there's a clutch of tanks here now uh, I'm gonna go for some ramming speed we'll do some ramming on the WZ111 <laughs> kill him we're up to five kills now luckily we're ignored and we get another kill <laughs> Well, you know we're going to get these last two kills. <laughs> oh, the Pershing. You can imagine halfway through this game, he's thinking, you, we were all thinking, even though we've seen the end result, this is going to be tough to make this a win. Come on, Artie. Where are you? Where are you? Now, we know he asked his team if he can get the last kill, so we are going to have some friendly teammates left at the end of this. Ooh. Ooh. And he's fired, and he's missed. That was lucky. <laughs> Just plant one in the face of <laughs> the 13F3. Right, so we've got seven kills. Let's wait for the message to appear. In a very humble, generous, kind of asking very politely kind of way. How much is he going to grovel? If possible, can I get the eighth? If possible. See, that's nice. He's not saying give it to me. He's saying if, if it's possible, can I have it, please? That's nice. <laughs> I would probably give it to him if I was on my team, looking how that match was going, seeing he's got seven kills, not knowing how much damage he's done, you might think, oh, he must have had an absolute blinder to get seven kills, and we were losing this most of the time, so potentially, let's give it to the fella. And everyone seems to be in agreement. That is nice, isn't it? We've had a few instances of this in World of Tanks in my last couple of videos where people have been really supportive in chat on the same team. You're never going to get much friendly support from the enemy team. It does happen, but rarely, but... Uh, last couple of matches we've seen it happen within our teams oh there he is so we want to get two shots on this guy probably one more he could hit us it is the derp gun on the kv2 he could hit us <laughs> we know he's gonna not but let's kill him let's get that rattling walters yes <laughs> it is remarkably bounced off the back of the kv2 it's it's a box but there we go anyway <laughs> A new take on the replay from Plum. How about that? <laughs> Let's look at his post-game stats. Even though we've already done it, but we've got to we've got to check it again now to see. So here we are, and uh, now we can see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> a Pershing carryish Radleys. I like that. <laughs> you got away with words. It's a beautiful game, Plum. That made me look <laughs> carryish. I don't think that's in the dictionary, but I like the way you spelt it. Mastery badge, easily done. Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect. There's our beautiful shiny Radley Walters medal and uh, Top Gun. Do you think Wargaming should release these medals and uh, you can order them? Even if they're made of shiny plastic, <laughs> you could order them, have them delivered, and have them on your wall. <laughs> they might, they might sell a few, a handful, maybe. That's a bit bad idea. We don't need more plastic in the world. We need less plastic. Um, make them out of metal. <laughs> They get, you know, that's a renewable... Make them out of wood. <laughs> That'd be even better. A bit touch expensive, but, um, yeah, got to save the planet. Um, team scores. Yeah, we did that. That was that was, that was good. He did deserve the uh, Radley Waters at the end, I think. Also, our Super Pershing deserves a nod. Managed to racking out over 3,000 damage. 
I had a couple of good games in my super pushing last night. <laughs> Got to admit, it was a great tank again. I love it. Um, and the enemy team put up a pretty decent fight because they were winning most of that that game. So that guy got 1,220 on a losing XP in his WZ. Uh, he's going to feel pretty rotten. Right, Rickling Rider. Rickling Rider. Oh, no. <laughs> this is all about Bad Captain and him sending his replay in. So thank you very much, mate. I really do appreciate it. Um, I like what I did at the start of this, looking at the inbox. So send in your replays, and then maybe tomorrow or the day after, I'll do it again live i'll just go to my inbox and we'll pick one we'll pick one together you might say maybe i should do a vote thing where i look at the, the replays and then make a video and in the comments below you choose which replay you want to see from my inbox is there a way i could do that i'm not sure um but yeah viewers poll to decide which replay you get to see maybe i'll give you a choice of two replays and then you pick one and that's the one we'll do anyway changing things up as always uh Maybe next time it'll be a bit of green screen action. Uh, I've got a new green screen, because I've been doing it with a panel that I painted green, but now I've gone out and bought a blind. It's brilliant, it's a bright green blind, and it's really big. If I can just pull it down the wall, it's about two and a half times bigger than the panel I had, so I won't have so much difficulty with uh, keeping myself in the shot. Um, so I've got to mount that up at some point in the next 24 hours, and uh, start utilizing that, so I could be far more dramatic with my arms, because they won't get chopped off, because the green screen is not big enough. Um, maybe I'll show you, maybe I'll do a little video on that, <laughs> mounting my new green screen. Anyway, that's today's video. Keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and I shall play Water Tanks again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.